friends, I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark, and tonight we're looking at a new piece of software, a new plugin from Mixwave. Now, remember, they brought the Benson Chimera plugin, and it was amazing. Now they have done the same with the Milkman Creamer. So you get the Creamer, you get the Harmonic Trim Reverb Unit, you get the Slapback by JHS, and you get the Booster from Milkman. There's a lot going on here. First thing I'm going to do here is run it down on a mix. I'm going to put it on everything, just about everything, and then uh, come on back here, and I will show you a little bit of how this thing works. <music> So here we are looking at the screen that uh, when my life flashes before my eyes, I'm going to it's just going to be me looking at this screen for logic. So just to let you know what we have going on here, I have the vocal track right here that I am recording on. And then that is feeding into a vocal bus. And then that bus is kicking out to here. Same thing. We're going to do a little bit of kick. The kick goes down into the kick bus and then comes back. And the guitar goes down to the guitar bus and then comes back. The reason for this is I'm going to be making changes on the plugin as we're going along. And those will obviously not save unless I'm recording them. So that's the reason that we have six different tracks going to record three different things. But let's uh, let's get started. Today I am going to be using that McGinney guitar Skylark, which is the green guitar from the intro. And we have the guitar here. Let's pull up that Mixwave plugin right now. And my gosh, there is just so much stuff happening here uh it is really it's kind of hard to wrap your head around um so first off we have some presets up here that they have saved for us and they're really really nice uh, we have a tuner here we have your input processing so you can do some eq on the front end as well as add some compression then on the signal chain we have the boost the discrete op amp boost from uh, milkman as well as the JHS Milkman, which is a slapback delay. We have the amp itself here, and then we have a cabinet, and you can really go ahead and just make all kinds of changes on this and make it sound the way you want. You can change the mics, you can change the speakers in the cabinets, you can do all kinds of stuff to really, really tailor the sound that you want. 
And then on the back end, we have the HTR, which is the harmonic trim and reverb unit. So lots of cool stuff here going on. But let's go back to the amp real quick. I want to show you another thing here. You can choose between 6V6, 6L6, and 5881. Um, if you remember, the creamer allows you to use all three different tubes uh, in that. You have your oversampling here. This was uh, this was asked on the on the Benson um, what oversampling does, um, and it's pretty common. It increases the sampling rate of the signal. It's processing by fixed multiple, like two or four. So this one is two. So if the sampling rate of your session is 48 kilohertz, a two times oversampling setting will make the sampling rate 96 kilohertz. All right, so here we are. This is just the default setting. This is what it's like when you open it up for the first time. That sounds super great. Let's check out some of the presets that they have included in here. First one is massive clean stereo. <laughs> So that was two different reverbs. We had the reverb going from the amp itself, and then we added the HTR in there as well. So very cool. Let's uh, mess with some of these mic placements here. <laughs> sounded really great. So let's go on to the next, and this is Massive Tremolo. <laughs> Thank you. 
next one we got is rock. So I'm gonna switch down to the bridge pickup on the McGinney. <laughs> JHS slap back, and there's a reason for that. It's because we're gonna pull it up here on vocals. What? That's actually a reverb from the HTC. So let's blend that down a little bit. Yeah, this could make a really nice uh, vocal there. Yeah, this. I mean, you tune that blend down, and this is a really nice vocal reverb. And they have it set as a send, so you would use it in a bus, and then you would send to it. Then that's kind of what we're doing here by decreasing the blend. But um, yeah, very very cool. But we can also let's see. They also have a tremolo, a HTR vocal tremolo. So that's uh, that's cool. Um, I feel like I'm shaking a little bit. Whoa, yeah. Let's slow it down. Yeah. Trust me, you prefer me doing this talking to uh, singing. So here we have the JHS Milkman, which is a slap and a boost. And um, they have set up some presets to use this for vocals, which seems like a great idea. So the first one is set up to use it as a vocal doubler. Let's see, see what, what that, that sounds like. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's two, two of me right, right there. there. Holy cow. Um, this sounds, this this sounds really, really decent. decent. Um, Cool. I, I like, like that, that a lot. lot. And, and then I see there's another one here. That's, That's a slap, slap back. back. That, that sounds, sounds great. great. We, we can, can pull, pull that, that back, back a little bit. bit. Yeah. And, you know, again, you would want to use these things in a bus um, so that you can send to them and, and just kind of sync it real nicely with uh, your existing signal. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up my good friend Battery. And we're gonna look at a kick. Got a kick here. Sounds pretty good and boomy. But uh, one thing we can do is we can take this pop top boost and uh, make it significantly bigger. Pull that off. You can also use the spring reverb on drums as well. Again, this is something that you'd want to have uh, in a bus and you would blend in. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to use the blend knob. And that sounds cool. Let's, uh, let's add the dwell a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger. That is a spring reverb on kick drum. Yeah, that's super cool. All right, so that was just a brief look at the Milkman Creamer plugin from Mixwave. It sounds really good. You know, I'm a little starstruck whenever Mixwave reaches out because, like, they know so much more about recording and mixing and mastering and production than I will ever know. And they you, it's evidence in the plugin itself. I mean, they have covered all of the bases. You can tweak every little thing on there. And I, I have zero complaints, none whatsoever. So thank you, Mixway, for sending this over for me to check out. And thank you for your time.